We got some sliced smoked sausage. Gonna make us a quick crock pot meal. Mm. Some 32 ounce of diced hash brown potatoes. They're cubed. Oh, there's a bad one in that bag. Mm. A couple bad ones in that batch. Just make sure they're all thawed out. They don't need to be frozen. Mm -hmm. And if you have a bag like ours, pick out the black ones. Then we're going to add two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. One can of cream of chicken. Can't not have that in a crock pot meal. No, everybody's gotta have a and I debated whether or not they have now cream of chicken with herbs. But mm, I didn't know how I that the herbs would be good. Well, I don't know how it would mix with the um, sausage. What do y'all think? Would y'all add herbs? Half a stick of butter melted. Mm. Can't go wrong with that salted butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to just give this a stir. We want to have everything kind of mixed in together? Yes. Because your sausage is fully cooked already. Mm -hmm. It's just the potatoes. We tried a few bites, folks, and it is That's some good, super good. smoked sausage. Okay, we got to put it, we want to put maybe an onion in there. So we're going to chop us up an onion before we put it on. Super sharp. Kim got some new knives. I did for my birthday. I hope I don't chop off a finger or hand with it. Looks like it's cutting pretty good. It does. Way better than the ones I had before. But I didn't have it. Do the little chef cut like they do on TV. How's that? They do that little fast one. Oh. oh Maybe not. Don't cut your finger yeah, off. That. With these hands, you probably don't want to do that. You're cutting good right now. Oh, oh, fancy. You see them fancy fingers, folks? Please don't cut your fingers. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna put some onions off in here. Don't need a whole bunch, but just a few. Some people don't like them. Okay. Stir it up. Now we're gonna put the lid on it and cook it for three hours on high, okay. and we'll have dinner. All right, see y'all in three hours. <gasps> there we go. Damn, it kind of looks like meaty mac and cheese almost. Yep, these are potatoes, not pasta noodles. All oh, right. Mm-hmm. Good? It's real good. Real good, folks. He's got some cooked pasta noodles, mm. about three cups of them. Then we've got three cups of boiled chicken. Boiled salt, chicken. And I've salt and peppered it, so it's got some seasoning in it. Then we have bell pepper and onions in three tablespoons of butter, as well as a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. Kind of mix that up together there. And people say we don't see some oh, things. Oh, shoot. Did what you happened? see what I did? You caught it, though. Upside I, I know down. I did, but I'm going to have to. Okay. There just, it is. Now, I'm just sorry. dump it in there. We cleaned the, the counter a oh, few yeah, weeks ago. Uh, four ounces of green chilies. I don't know what in the world. Not crazy. One and one-third cups of whole milk. You can use skim if you would like. One can, of course, of cream and chicken soup. You gotta add it to everything. Yeah. Okay. There you, go. you got that. You got that. It's like a shake weight. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think that is. I don't want to shake it all up to you. There we go. We got there it all it out. Yep. One third cup Parmesan cheese. This is the finely shredded. Mm. This ought to be really good. Two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Mm, okay. Just the whole bag. The whole, yeah, the whole two is two cups. So I ain't gonna mix it all together. I think by looking at you, he's making a pasta salad, but you're not. You know all that is done. Okay, now you'll Good have it. A, yep, greased nine by thirteen dish. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Now 
This is a cheesy chicken casserole. All right. Honestly, I think it might be pretty tasty. I think it's gonna be tasty myself. And here's our recipe, folks. Should be pretty good. Anything with cheese and noodles is my kind Oh yeah, you can't beat that. You're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes and then we'll put some cheese on top and let it bake for mm. about five. You don't have to cover it. It didn't say cover, so. Okay. Take it 375 to 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Look at and that. And this has cooled. That's why I'm able to touch it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where should we go? Right here, okay? Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. I have Cheesy to chicken casserole. Casserole. Looks like my kind of casserole. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. And it's good. That's good, folks. Let us know how you like it. All right, what do we got, babe? All right, we got two packets of cooked Kraft macaroni and cheese. An indoor casserole dish. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to take a stick of butter. Just slide it on in there. We're going to add our cheese. Two packs. So we're doubling this. Okay. Then we're gonna add half a pack of mild taco seasoning. Mm. This is gonna be like a hamburger helper kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And then we have about a half a cup of milk. Next, we're gonna add in a pound of ground beef cooked. It's like hamburger helper, but yeah. a little better. Probably just stir that puppy Cheesy. up real quick first. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna mix this all together. That butter should start to melt in nice. I think it's gonna be really good. All right, now that we've got that all mixed, we're gonna take a can of drained mild Rotel. Put that in there. We have a can of green chilies. And we have a can of jalapenos. And we have a can of diced tomatoes. You only use half that can. Yeah. And Perfect. Good there. And then now we're going to mix it again. Next, we're going to take some just BS to blend cheese because you can't go wrong with some extra cheese. Mm -hmm. Right on top. And then our oven is preheating. We're going to put it in the oven. Just let that cheese melt on top. Everything's already cooked, so we're really just warming it up mm -hmm. in the oven. So we're just put it in here probably 10 or 15 minutes. All right, let's try this thing. Look at that. Yummy. Doesn't it look good? Yeah. All right, and then we're gonna add a little con queso from Taco Bell. You're just gonna wanna get this like a little bit drizzled all over it. Cheesy goodness. Cheesy goodness. You see that drizzle? So we got the mac and cheese, we got the Fiesta blend, and now we got some queso. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really good. You kind of just smear it out. Kind of want to get this over on top. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. All right, let's try this thing. I want a little, I want some jalapenos in there. All right. Let's try it. That's really good. Mm. I gotta give me another bite of that. This is so good. Y'all, jalapenos really make this thing. I, I would add those and the, the queso sauce. That is so good. Kid friendly? Kid friendly, I think kids will love it. Just look at it, it's like, it's perfect. Better than hamburger helper. Yep. Two tablespoons of butter. We want to melt it in our large saucepan. Add in about a third cup of onions. Mmm. Okay, we're sauteed our onions and our butter. Now we are going to add in one tablespoon of olive oil. Two and a half cups of chicken broth. and one cup of long grain rice. Mm. 
Now you're gonna stir that up and you're gonna put a lid on it and cook it for seven minutes. We'll put our lid on, bring it to a bowl. We're gonna remove the cover and add in a bag, I've got 15 ounce bag of broccoli. We'll throw that in there. Replace the lid and cook that for eight minutes. <clears throat> Some diced ham, two cups, 16 ounces. Throw that off in there. Fresh. Three-fourths cup of whole milk. One can of cream of chicken. Oh, like cream of chicken is in everything, folks. It is. But it's what makes it a good base. Mm -hmm. Get that all out. A half a cup of sour cream. Cup of shredded cheap, sharp cheddar cheese. Mm. Well, we're using the cheese today, aren't we? I know. Hopefully, we'll be able to use the bathroom later. <laughs> and you're going to mix this up. I have to say, it doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't look bad at all, honestly. It's kind of like broccoli and cheddar soup, but, you know, with rice and ham and, and ham and. Oh. You know, every actually, yes. it's nothing like broccoli and cheddar soup. <laughs> no, you have now. You're gonna take a greased nine by 13 mm -hmm. and you're gonna pour it into there. Oh, deep. It's a little heavy. Use that double. I mean, it actually does smell really does. good now that I put that cheese what in there. What do we do now? We are going to put some Ritz crackers on top. Ooh. I've got a sleeve of Ritz crackers here with two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to spread them on the top. Well, y'all just see me throw crackers everywhere. I don't know that. Okay. Cover this and you're gonna bake it for 15 minutes. That's all the aluminum foil I have today, but it'll be fine without yeah. it. Well, that does look good. Look at that. I've had one good. Let's see how this one is. Okay. I'm gonna use this in where it's got more rips. I love Ritz crackers. Me too. Look at that. Look at that, folks. If you're looking for a bubble gut, look no longer. <laughs> Hot. Mm-hmm. But good. It's good, folks.